Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on calculating a further bound for a formula given a multiplication. Now I'm assuming in this video you already know how to find the lower bound or upper bound of some measurement. So for example, for B, if we're told that B was 35 correct to the nearest hole, then you would hopefully know how to find the lower bound, which means the smallest this measurement could have been before it was rounded to the nearest hole, well, it's 34.5, isn't it? Because if you round 34.5 to the nearest hole, you would get 35, but it can't be any lower because if B was actually 34.4, for example, then to the nearest hole, that would be 34, not 35. And then the upper bound would be 35.5. So remember, we take half the accuracy, so half of a hole is 0.5, and then we add or subtract that to that number. So 35 plus, 0.5 is 35.5, 35 minus 0.5 is 34.5. So that's just a recap. What about C? What's the lower bound and upper bound? Well, the lower bound is gonna be 6.75, and the upper bound is going to be 6.85. And we want to determine the upper bound of BC. Now, BC just means B times C, so it's a product of these two numbers. And we want to get the biggest number possible because we want the upper bound of BC. Now, in each case, we can choose any value between the lower bound and the upper bound. So for B, we can use between 34.5 and 35.5. And for C, we need between 6.75 and 6.85. But we want to end up with the biggest product possible. Now, you might be able to see that if we're timesing two numbers, we want to times the biggest two numbers together possible in order to get a big number. So the upper bound of BC is going to be the upper bound of B, so 35.5, multiplied by the 6.85, the upper bound of C, and we get 243.175. Now, it doesn't ask for it, but let's just say we wanted to find the lower bound of BC. If we're multiplying these two together, we want to multiply the smallest two possible numbers to end up with the smallest possible number. So we're going to use the lower bound in both cases, so 34.5 multiplied by 6.75, and we get 129.35. So that's the biggest BC could have been, and that's the smallest that BC could have been.